Hello, I'd like to acknowledge the Ngambri and Ngunnawal people whose land I am recording this message on. I'd like to thank their elders past, present and emerging. I recognise that this land is Indigenous and that sovereignty has never been ceded. Thank you. I'd also like to thank the team at the Women's Climate Congress whose vision and values are very close to my own. Hello, my name is Hilary Wardhoff. I am creating a project called the hashtag Everyday Climate Crisis Visual Petition. The visual petition is a visual response to the Australian Government's climate change policies. The goal is to crowdsource 1,000 photographs from women and non-binary people from all over Australia. The power of the petition arises from each image presenting climate change from a very personal and culturally diverse perspective. The result will be a powerful social, political statement to the current patriarchal power structures within Australia. The images and the women behind them will be using photography to advocate on behalf of the Australian country, Indigenous cultures and future generations. The petition will advance contemporary feminist discourse through photography and activism and shine a light on the colonial and patriarchal power structures that have been influential in the climate crisis that we face. The idea started when I came across a water bottle covered in tiny baby mussels on Potato Point Beach in New South Wales at the beginning of 2020. The cap on the bottle had foreign writing on it and it really made me think of the impact one person can have on our environment. When I'm online, I'm always signing petitions put out by various change organisations, but it also feels a little bit futile at times, almost ephemeral, especially if the petition doesn't get the required number of signatures to be presented in Parliament. So I wanted to start a petition with the goal to use people for people power and, and photography and to get it on the public record. One of my aims is to have our PM wave our petition around in question time instead of a lump of coal and to get that recorded in Hansard. And I also would like it to become part of the collection within the National Library of Australia. So who am I? Why am I doing this? Well, I love collaborating with other people, especially women, and I'm passionate about raising the profile of all women in photography in Australia. Women have embraced photography, especially more so in the last couple of decades. Photography has become a wonderful tool and income for many women, yet on the whole, women are still less likely to be represented and published than men. The petition has a generous lead time for submissions, because of women's role as caregivers and unpaid work. The petition will be handed over in June 2022. Within that month, there are several World Days, including World Environment Day, World Reef Day, World Oceans Day, and World Food Safety Day.
The call out for the visual petition is for women and non-binary people to submit images. There is no need to be an accomplished professional photographer. Images can be from your mobile phone and all ages are encouraged to create images. I wish the petition call out to be as democratic as possible. So why not ask men? Isn't this sexist? Well, by having women only submitting images challenges the industrial, capitalist and economic systems that have gotten us to this point. We need to be seen, to be heard and to be considered. The majority of women occupy less permanent employment. Women are still also responsible for the majority of unpaid work, care and volunteering. The political response in Australia to the COVID pandemic has really shown us that women are more vulnerable to economic effects of crises than men. Most of our political leaders are men, so the petition aims to be a collective voice to people who would not necessarily have a say, including those most vulnerable to the effects of climate change, and this is women and Indigenous women. In the petition, the word every day is used. It is not the intention that the images are photographically or contextually ordinary, but it does mean that the images illustrating the effects of climate change are seen every day. Or more importantly, that many of us think about climate change every day. Ironically, it's not every day that we have a climate crisis. So this is a one-off and our only chance. I'm not suggesting that women actually see things differently than men either, but I do consider that their focus may be different and there's no pun intended. Documentary photographers historically have always just been parachuted into regional areas, creating images for news media. Most of these photographers have been men. So collective, collectively, 1,000 photographic images responding to the climate crisis that we face from women all over Australia is a powerful feminist document. point in time submissions are open and we've got events planned for 2022. Since the soft launch earlier this year on Instagram we've had about 350 images submitted. A curated selection is on the Instagram account called Women Photo Oz and there's a few on our Women Photographers Australia blog. An official launch will be held in February on the 10th at Photo Access in Canberra. This event will have a facilitated panel discussion and a curated slideshow of images will be projected onto a large multi-paneled screen which will be all held by children whilst a local women's choir called A Chorus, for, a Chorus of Women will sing. The importance of the February launch revolves around gaining traction about the petition through the Arts ACT Aquifer Programme. This will be running alongside the ANU Institute for Climate, Energy and Disaster Solutions, which have their annual climate update in February. The Institute has international profile and is keen to have artists, arts organisations and galleries across ACT involved and will promote events locally, nationally and internationally. The handover of the hashtag Everyday Climate Crisis Visual Petition will be at Federation Mall in Canberra on a sitting day sometime in June. I'm hoping that we can get members of Parliament out of the House so that we'll be able to stand there and hand over our document of images. I hope to be standing beside all the women that have submitted images along with the Ngunnawal and Nambri people in Canberra. Part of the submission process is also to get photographers to give me a description of their image, but also tell me 
what they want their leaders to do in their part of Australia and nationally. How is this existential crisis affecting them and their part of the world? What policy changes are they demanding? It could be a sustainable and just transition for jobs in their town from fossil fuels to renewables. It could be ensuring that we listen, learn and educate our children about Aboriginal cultural practices and land care. It could be ensuring that women have a say in decisions locally and nationally. It is definitely not up to me, as a white middle-aged woman, to decide on behalf of everyone who has submitted. So I hope we get a huge range of opinions and demands from women all over Australia. I hope to provoke the elected leaders that we have about what we face and this problem that they need to focus on long term. If you'd like to submit images to the hashtag Everyday Climate Crisis visual petition and you're a woman or a non-binary person, please do so. You can have a look at the Instagram page on Women Photo Oz or the website Women Photographers Australia. I hope to see lots of wonderful images there so that ultimately we have a thousand images in June to give to Parliament. Thank you very much.